City bus and transit riders got a lifeline in the latest pandemic-related relief bill. New York City's subway system will get billions, though much less than it asked for. Don't think of this as a bailout to the profligate. The aid begins to correct for an historic inequity. The federal government has long been subsidizing our least efficient systems in rural and small town America and neglecting cities. Transit aid in a time of crisis should not reward cities for decades of fiscal mismanagement, but should help them get past COVID and chart a path to stability. New York's is the most used public transit system in the U.S. and typically does not rely on any federal help to run the system. Now compare it to Oneida in upstate New York. Currently, the Big Apple has lost most of its subway riders and fares. Congress filling that gap is necessary and timely, lest cities be robbed of the ability to rebound. Any post-pandemic aid should require that they economize. But when it comes to transit, cities should no longer be disfavored. Do you think big cities should get more federal transit aid? Let us know in our poll. Also, let us know what other topics you'd like our scholars to cover in 60 seconds. And be sure to like and subscribe for more research and videos from AEI.